everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to program Siri. So it's pretty easy. You'll first need to download the Shortcuts app from the App Store. I'll go ahead and show you that. Let's go and search Shortcuts. And you want this right here. It's an official Apple app, so don't worry about anything like that. Um, let's go back to Shortcuts and go ahead and make a new shortcut. So what you're going to want to do is, I'll just kind of walk you through this a little bit. Let's add an action and go to scripting. And what I like to do is add in something random like the weight and press next so I can name my shortcut. This is going to make it register with Siri so that when I say whatever the name of the shortcut is, Siri will run the shortcut. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll call this my new test shortcut so then press these three dots here to edit the shortcut and just delete the whole weight block thing obviously that was just a placeholder so now we're gonna go in here and let's say we want Siri to send a message so I'll go ahead and send a message to myself and we'll call this message we'll just say testing and so what this is gonna do is it's going to text me and let's just say testing. So if I go ahead and run this, okay, so you can do that, but I like to do a lot more complex things. And honestly, I just like to have fun with this, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and let's get into more complex stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and explain a few of the important things that I like to use. So choose from menu, I don't use it often, but what it does is it shows a menu of items, you choose one, and then the output is different for whatever you choose. Continue in Shortcuts app, that's not useful really if you're using Siri because it's just, it opens the Shortcut app and you can continue there. So that's not really what you want to use with Siri, I don't think that's very useful. Um, exit Shortcut, that just ends the shortcut obviously, and then if, if is super important, it's just it tests something so if this this happens and then we've got repeat that's just gonna repeat your code um, you can do the whole thing or just pieces it doesn't matter repeat with each is gonna have different inputs and it's going to repeat for each input um, wait is just it's gonna wait for whatever amount of seconds that you set and then wait to return is gonna wait until you leave and then return to the shortcuts app again not something that you'll be using with Siri so I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. These are also some very important things, but they're pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to scroll down here to notification. Okay, um, I'm going to use ask for input. What this will do is Siri is going to ask a question, and then you're able to respond. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, and let's make it ask what's the password. So there's that, and now we're going to go back in, scroll back up to the top, and we're going to put in an if statement. So it's going to do if the provided input, so your response is, and then we're going to say, let's say the password is my password. Now we're going to go back in, and let's say we want it to open something in the browser. Let's go back here away from scripting and press web and then we're going to scroll down to open URLs and then open change it from if result to text and then it should switch to a URL. So let's just open my YouTube channel for now so youtube.com slash parkio5 And then drag this up, whoops, drag this up under the if statement. So this way it only works if you get the right password. So let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so this is a this is a pretty common mistake. See, she ended the program because if you look at the my password, um, the P is lowercase, and when we typed it into the if statement, we put a capital P. 
So what you've got to do is you've got to go back in the if statement and change the p so that it's lowercase because it has to be case sensitive. It's p. Now if we run the program, it should work. Open YouTube, and it should go straight to my channel. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead and open. Yes, I typed the link wrong. Well, you get the gist. It does work. So let's go ahead and add a legitimate site in here, just so I can kind of show you that it works. We'll do. We'll do my website. Uh, it, here we go. And there we go. So it's going to open up my website, and it works really well. I really like these. I really like being able to program Siri. All right, so obviously this example is a little weird. I just crammed in as many elements as I could that I thought were, like, essential. Um, so if you, if you like this, let me know in the comments. And if there's something you want me to show you how to make, let me know. I'll make a video about it. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.